India 100 for three. And the big fish, Sachin Tendulkar, sitting in the change room now. Pretty handy average, that. 46.41. But not too many runs in this current series. Coming back to Tendulkar. And I think he must be quite annoyed. What a way to start uh, when you face the first ball and then hit it over the rope. You cannot ask for a better start. So that shows that it is a strong area outside the off stump. And hence he's not the quickest bowler in the side, just medium. So that gives a lot of opportunity and time for Gangoli to get into position and just pushing outside the off stump and timing it beautifully. Right off the middle of the bat. No real power there. Quicker delivery. And he pulled it nicely. He got into position very early. And it's over the rope. Four more runs for India. 151 for three. And you don't get such a loose delivery from Adam. But again, this time he tried to pull a quicker one. But Gangoli was very quick. And he picked it up early and got into position. Pulled it nicely over mid wicket. And short one, he picked up very well. And over the rope, it's a big six. Well, Adams does seem to be having a bit of bother bowling to the left-hander, uh, Saurav Ganguly. Not able to get his flight right. This is short turning into him. And although there's an extra fielder now added, the silly point taken off, Ganguly getting beautifully into position to hit it into the crowd. Knew that uh, it was a leg spinner coming into him, going back, picking up very early, getting into position, and another beautiful stroke, a thumping cover drive, and definitely put a lot of pressure on Adams. Well, this is as good a drive as uh, one would hope to see. Look at the elegance, the foot right to the pitch of the ball, the bat face opening up just a little bit because there is an extra cover, and if he had kept the bat face closed, it would have gone straight to him. Very good batting that from Sauro Gangoli. Another very loose ball and it's four runs all the way. Well put away there. It really was a good shot by Gangoli. He's also, I think another interesting thing here is the way that the Indian batsmen have structured it so that the left-hander is facing uh, uh, Adams and the right-hander facing the quicks. The, obviously the left-hander with the ball turning into him for the most part is going to find Adams uh, more easy to face. See at cricket rating, Hansi Cronier, 11 points, ranking 77. Well, that's another good stroke. Hansi Cronier trying to get a Yorker in there, but what good timing. His feet didn't move too much. Chose the gap, however, perfectly, and Ganguly goes on to 39 with this superb shot. It's going very fine. He won't get there. It's his 50, and a very, very fine 50 it is. At the same time, it's India's 200 up, 202 for three, and Ganguly looks up to the crowd looks up to the sky, looks up to the men showing those flags in support of the Indian team and the 50 comes up in 89 balls only, excellent 109 minutes and 10, 10 fours and a six included in that look at that delicate shot very fine indeed, frustration for Klusner, but an excellent 50 for this young man full toss and played out into the covers. He didn't try and smash it to the boundary. Quite happy just to coax it through the covers. And they'll settle for two off the last ball of the day. And the Gangulian drive it very quickly and very happily. Turn away to the pavilion and applause from the crowd. They know that these two have played splendidly well. In the air and out, caught McMillan. Ganguly goes. South Africa have made their breakthrough that they required and India are 245 for four. Well, he's made that mistake before in the series, just poking his bat out to hang. And he is disappointed with himself, but he has only himself to blame. Look at that now, no movement of the back foot at all. 
just trying to steer it and Brian McMillan taking a very very good catch low to his left and isn't Lance Klusner happy those big hands uh, clasping that catch Saurav Ganguly is out for 73 India 245 for 4 